When people hear that I'm an electrician, they automatically think, oh, you change light bulbs. That's what you do for a living. But an electrician is so imperative because without us, the mission cannot happen. My wife and I thought the Air Force would be a really, really great option because we wanted to be part of something bigger than ourselves. I desired to be a pilot and try going the officer route and it didn't really pan out that way. Kind of released that and then they reclassed me to an electrician. Everything that had been painted to me from when I was a kid, it was more of a negative sort of connotation, a negative outlook. This is a dirtier job, it's a blue collar job. I did not understand the significance of it. The understanding that I had of an electrician before does not match what I understand now. A lot of the daily tasks we do here on Scott Air Force Base is lighting, ballasts, emergency exit signs, emergency lighting. We've put in street lights. We'll do a lot of bucket truck jobs as well, going up to high light fixtures and replacing those. You're going into buildings and you're troubleshooting. Hey, you know, my emergency light doesn't work. So when the power goes off, we don't have a light that comes on. Like, what do we do? I know it's simple. I know it sounds easy, but just the fact that we could provide illumination on base is pretty imperative. If half the base gets taken out, if the power is out. I mean, if there goes comm, vehicle maintenance, the whole entire CE compound. You got people everywhere doing so many different jobs at the same time, trying to make it all work together. So we play such an important role in making this mission happen. I really enjoy that CE in general gets me to so many different offices and buildings and places on base. I'm not in just my office. I get to go everywhere on base. I like going into a job and being able to diagnose the issue and then figure out exactly what to do to create a remedy for it. Hopefully while I'm there, bring a little bit of light into their life by conversating and just talking to them and see how their day's going. I love the fact that when it's done and it works and the customer is happy and you can like bring a smile on their face like, oh, that really looks good or that exit sign is, is working now and, and we have what we need, it's a, it's a good feeling. In my past, I've struggled with so many different anxieties about my future, wanting to control my life, wanting to put it on the trajectory that I thought it should go on. And the moment that I released it, it started going in a much better, more beautiful direction. I met my wife, Kelly, who is my princess. If it wasn't for Kelly and my two boys, uh, I couldn't do what I'm doing. The journey with them and the journey with God has just been amazing. Spiritually, have grown so, so much. I give my family all the credit, all the praise for the strength that I have. No matter what obstacles come my way, I'm able to have tenacity and push through due to their strength. I would recommend young airmen to find your anchor. Find what drives you and take on opportunities when they're handed to you. If you're working hard today, if you're working hard tomorrow, it's gonna to lead you to be a better electrician. You know, you, you have to want it. You have to really, really seek to, to have that fire within you to push and to really have that determination. My name is Senior Airman Luciano Vignola, and I'm a United States Air Force Civil Engineer. My name is Senior Airman Lazaro Galvan, and I am the mission. We fix anything electrically uh, that has any problems around the base. So if uh, power goes out, we are the ones that uh, put everything back online in any means necessary. If that means sticking up the ground, running a brand new cable, and back at home it's a more slower pace than deployed because when you deploy it, everything needs to be 100%, 24-7. Our job is important to mention because we are the main ones that are supplying the power to all the facilities. Without power, the mission could not go on because everyone needs the computers to be running 100%. They need lights to see and they just need, they need the electrical. I do enjoy my job. It's very, you know, it's grateful putting the power back up and see people's, you know, reactions, thanking us, you know, because without us, nothing can go on and the mission would not go on. We did a cross arm change out. We changed it from a crow's foot to a regular cross arm just to give us more room and make things safer during our day-to-day -day job. We also took down the majority of a broken switch we had on base to make that safe as well. 
power outages are a lot easier to schedule when not a lot of other people are at work. If we did it during the regular duty week, then it causes more problems for everyone else that's on base and they can't do their job. If we do it on a weekend or like a family day or holiday, then we can kind of just get in and get out and it doesn't affect anyone else. I really love it because you meet a lot of good people and it keep you on your toes because one false move in this it, so it's, it's a very interesting job. I, I love it myself. I think our job is really important because we do everything from the overhead and underground, low voltage in the airfield, so it really affects everybody. I would say that today was a pretty good learning experience and if I had another chance I would do it again.